Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to put some new parts on the XMR. I bought a mud strap and a rear bumper. And uh, yeah, this was uh, fifty-two dollars plus tax, I think. And the bumper was uh, two thirty two thirty-nine plus tax, Canadian. Oops. So uh, yeah. I got a little discount because I bought my my bike at uh, at that dealership, so I had 10, uh, 13 percent off. So it cost me with tax uh, two ninety for the bumper and the mud strap. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get the tools and start working on this. So I'll get back to you. We'll open the little box that came with uh, the rear bumper. Check in, see what's. Maybe it's going to be some brackets and bolts and fittings or anything like that. Plastic covers. Back with the bolts. The two brackets that goes on maybe on each side like this, something like that. Yeah. Instructions. Ten HP uh, sticker. <laughs> Instruction on BRP.com. Maybe I have to go see on the website. That's where the instructions. Okay, so I'll go see uh, for the instruction on the site and uh, take a look at it, and then we'll get back to you guys. Okay, well uh, I've started, and uh, you need to take. There's one one bolt here, one bolt there. And the same thing on the other side, and then you can take off the rack. You'll need to take that this one off out, and that's where I'm at now. So I'm just going to take off the rack. You have to pull, pull the not too hard, but yeah. From there, I had to go on from that side and very pull hard to get it out. So, there's the rack. Okay, so. I'm gonna continue and come back. Oh, and for the instructions, I had to go on BRP. Uh, dot com and uh, BRP instruct. Yeah, I went on Google and write and wrote the uh, BRP instructions, and then it asks you to uh, put a SKU number in your part number. So I uh, put the part number in. In this one, I don't know if you can see it. That's the part from the for the rear 
uh, bumper and then the instructions just came on so I just printed it but like, I just watched the video and in the instruction it says to take off bolts on the exhaust but the other guy didn't do it so and it was he was able to put the rear bumper so I'll do I'll do the same thing as him I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you okay so for the brackets you need to take the three bolts this one has a nut this one don't doesn't have a nut and this one has a nut so you can go from, from here to put the nut on but this one you have to go from here you can see in there you have to go put the nut in there and this is going to be a, a <laughs> so yeah okay and uh, I can't wait to see the other side if it's harder or easier so uh, I'll get back to you go back to you okay just uh, a little advice when you when you, you yeah, you're gonna start to try to put the bolts back on that plate over there it seems like it can move a little bit so the holes don't doesn't line up so what I did I took a screwdriver like that put it in the hole and pried to try to uh, put the holes together together so the, the, the bolt can go in and uh, just by hand or try to push it like that it didn't want to go in so I put my 10 millimeters on my uh, on my impact there's no there's no thread in there so I just put in there and and it went right in right in because she was a uh, to get in so uh, yeah just a little advice I had to do the same thing over here so this one was not too bad but those two oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'll go back to you. Okay, guys, the third one here, this one. Oh, Lee. Hmm, she was a pain. Okay, another tip. I had a ratchet key, okay, like that. I took this, I took the bolt. Let me try to film this. Mm. Okay. I took some grease, put grease around the bolt, and with the grease, she will stick in there. Because if you don't put grease, there's a little bit of grease in it. But when there's no grease, you just do that. Look, you see, she falls down. But when yeah. When you have some grease in it, it stick. So I took this and wow, it's it's hard with one hand. And I moved that over like that, and I went in it. And I was able to find the, the bolt, put it on, and over here, take the ratchet and bolt that thing. So I hope it works for you guys. Put grease around the bolt and it will stick to your tool. It won't fall in there. And that that is what it worked for me. So, up to the next side. Oh my god. Okay. As for the right side. Your two 10 millimeters bolt. One here and one there. I just put it back on. Because I don't want to lose it. Okay. And here. This one is not threaded. There's a bolt on the other side. But you can reach it easy with a small 
small ten millimeter. Same thing on this side for that one. Uh, I mean, and this one is threaded. There's no bolt on the other side. So I think this side is going to be maybe easier. I wish. I hope. So yeah. Okay. So this side was not too bad. Everything is back on. So now I think it's it's time to put the bumper on. I have to put the bumper on in here. Ding ding. Okay, I'll do that step man and I'll come back. Okay, so I snapped the rack into its place and it goes through the bracket here you just snap it on clack clack knock knock and uh, I'm about to tight those both to each side on there one there and uh, I did not have to remove any of the exhaust bolt or anything like it said in the in the instruction so that's that's nice so yeah, after that, I'm just gonna have to put the plastic cover like this. I have to bolt this first. And after that, there's a black, a black torque bolt that goes in there for the nice finish. And after that, that's the bumper will be, the install will be done. And uh, I'll do the mud strap. Okay, so this is with the bumper bolted on. Everything is finished. The plastic capper on. You have a bolt, a torque. And like that. Same thing here. A torque there with the plastic cap. Three bolts over here. There was those three over there. Everything is done. Is solid. Looks way better with the rear bumper. Should have come with it. No, it's not there. Something is missing. Okay, so I'll do the mud strap. Okay. So the mud strap now. It should be pretty easy. No mud needed. Put the fire ups. Put the fire ups. Oops. In case you guys wanted to know what which number, which part number it is. This is the whoop if we can focus. Yeah, uh, uh not even there. Sorry. This is the part number. Seven one five zero zero three zero five three. Mud strap. Hmm. I didn't look at the instructions online, so must have maybe two. No. I think this, there are two sides. Yeah, that's smaller, and this one is bigger. So I don't know which one it goes. Maybe this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. 
Yeah. Let's beat this one. I don't know what the tire wrap is for. This movie may be pretty simple. I don't know. Put it just like that. And like that. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to watch the instruction first. Put it the way it should be. Okay, I'll check the instruction on the website and I'll get back to you. Okay, so where's the other one? Oh, it's right there. What we need to do with that is you see, you need to put take this thing, put it in there like this. Oops. Just again. Like this. Because I wasn't I was not on the same size as this same side as this this one. So yeah, like this. And then you have little spacers like this that will go. In between here with the boat that goes through so one two okay, I won't need this one I won't need this but I will need this and this Ooh. sorry for that so Those things would go like this. Hmm. I'm gonna have to squeeze this with something. Damn, bro. Hmm. Yep. I'll go get a pair of pliers. Okay. I'll just grab some a little bit of tape to put on the pliers so I don't scratch up all the bracket. Okay. 
I don't know if you can see some, something. No. Hmm. Well, yeah. Got one. Need to find the other holes. There's one on the floor. Same thing on this side. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Brick is leaking, still leaking. It was leaking before, and it started leaking back again. Oh man, a brand new bike. Oh, you want to go in you okay well i'll do this i'll do this and i'll get back to you because the video is going to be too long ah here we go that's not in the way i want to see my my tack and my speedo i wanted the strap to be in the way yeah. Stuck. Yes, like that. How about that be in the way? So, this is it. Whew. Yeah, ten millimeters. That strap is done. Ten millimeter here with the little spacer in between, in between there and the bolt on this side. You want to see your speedo like you should. So next time, next mod will be, I think, a 
aluminum uh, gas cap maybe a new shifter and a billet um, air filter cover I think that's gonna be my next move and maybe a uh, rad cover with some kind of logo or I don't know want something cool and I think I'll, if I change that I'm gonna put the, the new rad cover the, the tan color I'm gonna pop out all right so hope you like it sorry if uh, my language is not perfect because I'm, I'm French from Quebec so uh, hope you like it share give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you later bye